So then the next tool that we'll jump into and show you is um, updating your firmware. <clears throat> Excuse me. So from time to time, we do have new firmware um, files available. Those firmware files are, are bin files. Very easy to email and send around. Um, to update your firmware, you're going to jump into the utility tool again, and you're going to go to firmware. All right, so card printer firmware. Double click on that, and what it'll do is it'll immediately connect to uh, whatever printer is on the network or connect it directly to your USB. Um, if you don't see it there, click the refresh button, and then it'll see if the whatever printer is connected, it'll see the module. So in this case, it sees a printer and a laminator. And again, if you've got a 70 connected, it's very similar, but you'll see all the modules. You'll see printer, flipper, input hopper, laminator, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it is an intelligent tool. It does see what you've got. So if you do need to update it, so you just browse to the bin file that you've got there. It's probably somewhere in an email or on your C drive. Um, jump in the firmware, and then this is an important bit. So if you're updating the printer's firmware, please update the printer's firmware with the printer's firmware, not with the laminating laminator's firmware. If this does happen, basically that goes into, we kind of, the memory kind of locks up and doesn't know what to do with the data, and you have to send it back to us, and we have to reset it to a factory reset. So just be cognizant of that. Make sure that you are updating the proper module with the proper firmware. So we're going to jump into the printer. We're going to go to the latest version, which is 08. And it just so happens that this printer already has 08 in it. And we're all set on this side. Laminator is the exact same way. We're going to jump in, browse, find the laminator file, and then update the laminator firmware if needed. So the laminator, the actual time to run the lamination, sorry, to run the firmware update is pretty quick. So you, you're looking about 30 to 45 seconds to do it completely. Um, please do not shut the printer off. Do not shut your PC off. Don't do any of these crazy things when you're updating firmware. Um, if that does happen, again, you'll, you'll partially install the firmware and you'll have to send it back to us um, for a factory reset. <clears throat> 